here is an 18-year-old woman present for an annual physical examination. She had a brother who died suddenly at the age of 24. She is active and asymptomatic. She is 170 centimeters in height, 68 kilograms in weight. Her arm span to height ratio is 1.07. It's very significant. Anything more than 1.04 suggests you have Marfan syndrome. Head and neck examination notable for high arched palate. Slit lamp examination shows ectopia lentis. Musculoskeletal examination is notable for pectus carinatum and a positive wrist and a thumb sign. Cardiac examination is notable for a mitral valve click and a soft murmur of MR, which is suggestive of mitral valve prolapse. The patient has evidence of enlargement of ascending aorta and aortic root since last year. So now they wanted to use ARBs in this individual. And what is the postulated mechanism of using angiotensin receptor blocker in this individual? First of all, what is the problem in Marfan syndrome? We know that this patient is having Marfan syndrome, there is no doubt. The problem in Marfan syndrome is fibrillin 1 gene mutation and it is inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion with variable penetrance. And fibrillin 1 is going to act as a scaffold for attachment of elastin. And if there is a fibrillin 1 gene mutation, you are not going to have attachment of the elastin fibers and there will be disintegration of elastin. And that will result in problems in the areas that require elastin, like heart valves or probably blood vessels, especially the arteries. So that's why you get problems in Marfan syndrome. Second, fibrillin 1 also attaches to another molecule called TGF beta. Because of fibrillin 1 gene mutation in Marfan syndrome, this TGF beta cannot bind to fibrillin 1, which results in increased local concentrations of TGF beta, that is transforming uh, growth factor beta or transformation growth factor beta, which results in increased deposition of extracellular matrix in that area and at the same time it will result in increased activation of matrix metalloproteinase as well which will again cause disintegration of the matrix as well as your elastin and the high TGF beta is one of the cornerstone for problems that happens in patients with Marfan syndrome. So it's believed that angiotensin receptor blockers by acting on angiotensin 1 receptors can down-regulate the production of TGF beta and that's why it can have beneficial effect in patients with Marfan syndrome. Remember, it's ARBs and not AC inhibitors that are going to be beneficial in patients with Marfan syndrome. So the right answer for this question is going to be option number C. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.